Hey everybody, my name is Rob, and this is Tiffany Holly Coco, and today we're talking about dating. Because how many of you know, when you're single, and if you don't want to be single, the avenue that you have to get to reach the other side is dating. Crazy. Gosh, that's so true. That's true. <laughs> that's true. We're not, we're not breaking news on this podcast, but I think one thing that we need to talk about is just the funniness of dating sometimes. Yes, that's true. I, I want to tell, you know, I'm, I've been married for five years now. Um, shout out. And um, we love you, Kyla. Yes, Kyla, we love you. Yes. I thought you were gonna Person like ever. talk about. Oh. Like, we, love we, we love Rob. We love Rob. Rob. We love Rob. A couple of Rob and Kyla. I just well, it's been fun. <laughs> and um, one thing I remember, I was so nervous when I met her, and it was like just she she was so pretty, like I was just like there's no way I could ever talk to her. And then finally one day we ended up going on a date, and. Um, you know, we all do d- dumb stuff yeah, when we date, sure. right? Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not the only one. For sure. You're, we're here. with you in this we, one. Yes, um, yes. I remember the, one of the first things I did, we were, we were going a date in downtown Springfield, and I were walking around, ran into our buddy Brad, and I said, hey, Brad, this is my friend Kara. <laughs> Kyla. <laughs> Kyla. So my wife's name is Kyla. Her roommate name was Kara. And I introduced her <laughs> to my buddy Brad as her roommate's name on that same date. Um, we went to another place, and I met somebody. I introduced myself as Robin. <laughs> I said, I'm Robin. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm Robin. I don't know what dating does to people, but for me, it's I couldn't eat the first couple weeks that I was on dates with Kyla. He I was really calling, couldn't. I was calling oh. her names that were not her name. I was calling myself names that were not my name. And, uh, it's a it's, miracle that she's part of our family. I know. Honestly. Honestly. She's My God's amazing. Crazy. Yeah. Thank the Lord. God is real. God is real. And uh, anyway, dating is such a weird thing. Yeah. It does mm-hmm. weird stuff to people. What have you guys noticed about dating? How have you guys navigated dating in this season? I feel like dating feels like a roller coaster. You know what I'm talking about? Like, yeah. specifically Space Mountain. And that's because we don't know what in the world is about to happen. Sometimes it's really fun. Sometimes mm-hmm. we got butterflies. Sometimes we don't know what's going on. Sometimes we're like, oh no, I don't think I want to be on the state anymore. Uh, it's about you to know, drop. it's about to drop. It, it's dropping. How when do you I get, get that out? feeling in your stomach, you're yeah. like, oh shoot, this is <sighs> not going to go well. You are not who you said you were. <laughs> How do I end this date? But also, like, what happens? I mean, I remember one time I was in the state with this guy. And it was a roller coaster because at first I saw him and I was like, he's more handsome than I even imagined. <laughs> and then we sat down and he's like, let's pray. And I'm like, and he's godly. And then, and then he said, let's pray. And he goes, Hey daddy. Oh. And yeah, oh. that's it. That's where you oh. get it. Right Listen, there. is the Lord, my is father, 100%. Listen, Tiff, that happened to me too one time. Stop, Stop it. it. I'm not, I'm say not it. kidding Come on, you. Say Hold it. on. Is Nobody, that a, wait, is did you guys date the is same guy? <laughs> Is that a red flag or a After yellow this, flag? what's his name? Just it's, I think I think yellow flag because he still loves the Lord, just not my speed, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> Did it, make, really? it made me look up and look around. Yeah, like, I was confused. I'm sorry. Yeah, I am with this you guy. Thought, you thought he saw his dad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but he, my man, he's not my man. But <laughs> <laughs> first night, Your man. Yeah. Uh, he explained to me afterwards that he started doing that. He thought it was cool. So I was like, okay. I did not know how to respond. I had to like watch There are, There are some things that you can... You can teach someone after marriage, I'm finding out. Uh, <laughs> Kyle's been teaching me a lot. But uh, maybe that's not one of them. Maybe not. Know. Maybe not. Holly, what, what have been, what's been a moment where you're like, oh, my goodness, like, I can't believe this is happening? Yeah. I've uh, Okay. So Coco and I have, we decided over Christmas to do oh, yeah. online dating because we were like, the Lord can use any avenue. We were trying to put ourselves out there. We're, how do you put themselves the out there? The hardest thing okay? is, how do you go for it? How do you go for People it? People just yeah. go for it. Um, I'd love to go for it. And so, okay, so... <laughs> It's terrible because you have to like, it takes a lot of effort, guys. You have to start the conversation. He likes you. You like him. Great. Um, And then you're like, great. He loves the Lord. Wow, this is incredible. I love it. Great start. And then you go through and we were also doing a fast of social media. And so I'm talking to my, my mom and dad, and my dad's like, have you checked him out on um, on Facebook? <laughs> I forgot about and that. I was like, well, dad, I'm doing no social media, so I'm not going to check him out. Surely he is who he says he is. Oh, you're is. not supposed to tell somebody when you're fasting, but we'll keep going. <laughs> I'm so keep sorry. Going. Keep going. Um, <laughs> and, so, and so my dad's like, well, let me look him up. So. No, we quickly were like, we can't, but can you? Dad, you dad, can. can we you can. Your phone and do you can. And so he looks him up. He goes, you know, did he say that he has any children? <laughs> And I was like, you're absolutely kidding me. So immediately the fast is broken. We we get my dad's phone and we're just <laughs> diving deep, diving deep. That dude for sure has children. And I immediately was like, 
thank you so much. I am not called to this, um, but you are probably great for someone else. And I politely ended the conversation. Holly's a master at that. If you have questions. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hey, DM she knows what's up. I hate that I'm good at that. But here's the deal. My my parents have taught me to yeah. end, th end things well and respectfully because they are human and they are doing their job. We're not you saying know? that Don't, it's, it's yeah. impossible to ever date somebody with kids. No, no, right. no. Yeah. It, it just, just was not a, for me. And he was, was not front with you about it. He was not front with me. Yeah, that's all we're But that was, that was interesting and yeah. it was funny that my dad was the one who was yeah. like, hey, should you check him out? And I'm like, I should have done more yeah. investigation. More research. So, thank Coco, you, Dad. what about you? <laughs> yeah, um, I think that people ask me like, what, 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 how do you date? And I'm like, I don't know exactly. <laughs> is there a strategy? Is there a strategy? I don't know. I, don't know. Um, I think one of the things, like some people will say like, you have to say yes to every person that asks you. Yeah. And have you guys heard that? Have I you have. Yeah, have I you told that. people that? Yeah. No, I don't tell people okay, that. Okay. Okay. Just, just curious what we're working with here. I don't believe here. that. Yeah. Okay. I, I agree. I don't believe that. I think, um, if someone is like someone you see a potential, like mm -hmm. even a glimmer of mm -hmm. potential, then like say yes, because I think we've elevated like, you know, dating to like, if I say yes, I'm marrying that person. Yeah. Yeah. That makes things yeah. scary. That makes you tense up. I'm like, who even am I? I don't even know because I don't know what to say to this person. And Going so, on a date is not a commitment. It's not it a is commitment. not commitment. an exploration. It's an exploration. Yeah. And I think that's so good for us to know of like, if someone asks me out and I'm at all interested, I can say yes. Mm -hmm. And it's casual and it's, and it like, if it's going to progress and that's, that's great. But if it's not going to like, we can still, you know how we do this successfully is we honor each other. Absolutely. And, yeah. and so when we say like, Hey, I'll, I'll go out on a date and it didn't work out. Instead of being like to all my friends, Hey, that person's insane. Like not happening. Uh, and if they're in like your community, right. Then my, my goal would be to be like, Hey, I want to bless this person. I want to leave them better than I found them. And I want, I would hope they would do the same for me as well. Um, and it's maybe it's a no for me, but I guess for somebody else. And I would love to be able to, uh, we've been at weddings where our friends have dated each other and then they didn't say yes to each other, but we were able to go celebrate that wedding and it was amazing. Yeah. So I think looking to honor that person and really taking the pressure off and being like, Hey, it doesn't have to be mm -hmm. so pressure filled. We can really take it. Um, just, to, just knowing like, Hey, we're just trying to get to know each other and see if, if the Lord is in this. That's yeah. Good. I'd also like to say, yes, do not say yes to everyone. And I have turned people down because yeah. I could clearly see that this was never going to work. And I honored them enough to not waste their time yeah. right that's good i'm, I'm yeah. a big believer in don't waste their time mm -hmm. um but i think you do need to give somebody the benefit of a doubt and so if you do see that there is potential yeah. you go out with them if it wasn't like a princess fairy tale the first date Surprise, not all of them are going to be amazing. We heard yes. about Rob. So some people, you know, some people, uh, yeah. they tried new identities and, and put on others. Yeah. So. And so what's great is um, Coco, all of us have had the opportunity to mentor some people in that stage. Right. Yeah. And so I always encourage them. I said, hey, if if you went on the date, you you still see potential. Give him another chance. Give her another That's chance. Good. Good. Because everybody is a little bit more, more nervous and they're trying yeah. to be their best self. And once you relax and the pressure is gone, oh, man, how mm -hmm. much fun do you have with that person? Yeah. 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 All right. Well, guys, we're going to end this with a couple rapid fire uh, things that we have learned oh. from dating. OK, yeah. so I want each of you to go and list just an important uh, kind of value uh, mm -hmm. anchor point for you as yeah. you consider dating. We talked about a couple already, yeah. but uh, Tiffany, what's one value of yours when you date? Date in community. You yes. you are going on dates, just you and that person, but do not make that decision in isolation. Why it, is that? Because whether you are, if you're in it, you're seeing this person through the lens you want to see this person. And you need people on the outside who's not in this moment yeah. who can see like, hey, have you checked him out on social media? He doesn't seem to be the same person with you as he is with other people. When you're looking, there's safety in community. There have been times I've been dating people and you guys have said, I don't think that that person's the right person for you. And even though I didn't see what you saw, I, I ended it because I trusted you guys. Mm -hmm. And so I do think community is super, super important. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Holly, what about you? Yeah. So um, I think I had this guy uh, tell me one time, I was talking about somebody I'd been going on a dates with, and he goes, Holly, don't collect red flags. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, man, okay. I was trying to evaluate and trying to see where these – were these just one-offs or was this a character thing? And that for him to say, do not collect red flags, that gave me the permission to stop. Because mm -hmm. um, I, I want to give people the benefit of doubt. You know, I want to yeah. give them as much um, 
chance as, as possible. And so I was like, okay, that's what I needed yeah. to be like, if these are the things that they um, are doing and those are red flags to me, I am not going to collect them and wait and wait and, and wait till I have a basket mm -hmm. full of them. Yeah. A couple, all I need. Mm -hmm. So that's good to end it. Yes. Right. Just <laughs> not to be clear. To that person. We don't want to keep the <laughs> person with the red flag. No, no, no. Just get, just, yeah. get Politely get and kindly say thank you so much for your time. You give them that basket you, of red flag. You pass them along. Thank you, sir. I will, I'm just going to give this back to you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to collect them. Uh, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Mine, um, you know, I think a lot of people know Jonathan Pecluda, but he says don't lower or don't, yeah, don't lower your standards, lengthen your patience. And I think that's been that's so good. helpful because um, if we really want this thing that is hopefully in the future, we can so easily be so distracted by that. And so we're like, well, this person came along, maybe that he'll do. Um, and we don't want that. We want God's best for Absolutely. our lives. And so like, don't, don't allow people who do have those red flags to like really be your person, like let the Lord lead in that. Yeah. And I really do believe the Lord knows how to talk to each one of us. Yeah. And so he knows how to tell us like, yes, continue this or, Hey, I need you to stop dating this person mm -hmm. and wait for my best because I know that God's plan is better. So yeah. For me, I have, I have two I'll close on. The first thing is in the world of dating apps where you can just select uh, a Christian or not Baptist, whatever, whatever you can even select your denomination date a real follower of Jesus. Right. Yes. Absolutely. Like dates. Yeah. And here's how you can, here's just a few very, yeah. this isn't, no, this doesn't mean for sure that they are a real follower of Jesus, yeah. but if they are not going to church on a consistent basis, big red yeah. flag, don't date them. Yeah. And that sounds really harsh. Yeah. That sounds really mean. You're going to be like, no way, not me. Mm -hmm. But listen, we've been around long enough mm -hmm. yeah. to yes. where you're like, you're the patterns of someone, mm -hmm. Uh, eventually show who they really are. Absolutely. I would yeah. even say if they're not serving in their local church, yes. that's yes. right. Them. Yeah. Because that shows their, that shows that they are committed to the local church. And mm -hmm. we believe that the local church is the hope of the world. Yeah. And it's so important that we're invested. So yeah. even if they're that's not good. serving, so good. absolutely. So, so date a real Christian because that's the, that's the only person that you can share the most intimate, deep part about you, which is your soul. Mm -hmm. And if you mm -hmm. can't share the most important thing about you, which is your soul and your relationship with Jesus, yeah. you're yeah. always, always, always going to yeah. be mm -hmm. uh, in want. Yes. The second thing I would say is learn their names of the people <laughs> that you date. Yes, that's that good. That is an important oh, thing. And also, so good. don't forget your name. <laughs> don't so forget good, your Rob. Name. Thanks for that. Wow, yes. amazing. Well, wow. guys, thank you so much. I'm Rob. This is Tiffany Holly Coco. We'll see you next time.